Now to our series, You and AI. If you know anything about drug discovery, you probably know it's expensive and time consuming. It's a lot of trial and error. To get one drug, it takes an average of 10 years and over $2 billion. So to shrink those huge numbers and ultimately save lives, researchers using computers like never before to make the future of medicine. Each generation has its own medical miracle. Take the discovery of antibiotics, the polio vaccine, or a treatment for HIV. Researchers are obsessed with these moments in time when the pursuit of a cure matches the pace of disease. We hope to get the therapies to patients faster. They can't wait. In Brian Martin's world, speed saves lives. He's head of AI at pharmaceutical giant AbbVie, based in North Chicago. One of his time-saving tools helps early in the drug discovery process. He taught a machine to look for specific traits in these microscopic crystals, saving scientists from having to look at thousands one by one. This is enabling us to potentially do 10 times as much crystallography throughput as we were before. Martin insists that humans are always in the loop, there to double check and move each step forward. Another imaging tool instantly counts thousands of cells and can tell their shape, saving humans time to pick what comes next. It moves us from a framework of qualification. I can just say, oh, this looks good, to quantification. I can actually measure how good that effect is. For even bigger breakthroughs, researchers rely on machines to help them with the language of science. Something that people don't think about is these large language models they're, they work for any language. The English language has rules, like grammar and syntax. If you teach those to a machine, it can mathematically master the odds of what word comes next. That's basically how a chatbot works. The trick, though, is teaching the machine the rules of a language that even we have yet to master. This lab in Lincoln Park is trying to learn the language of proteins. Our models learn about the rules of nature and the rules of protein folding and protein function. Mike Gamson is the CEO of biotech startup Evozyme. He says proteins can be the key to treatments or cures for autoimmune diseases or disorders that are passed through our genes, like Huntington's disease. Humans have already identified a billion proteins, and while that sounds like a lot, we have a long way to go. As many grains of sand fit in the solar system, that many different kinds of proteins exist. With numbers that big, previous breakthroughs relied on some luck. You came across the findings and then sort of hit the jackpot. But Dr. Yuan Luo of Northwestern Medicine says we can think of AI like a GPS. It will light on the path or the neighborhood that we are in. This all assumes the path you want to take is positive for humanity because AI can also amplify harm. I think we should lay a solid foundation so that this thing doesn't get out of control once we started using it. There really aren't ways to put a lot of Pandora back in the box, if you will. In the meantime, the world will be watching to see if AI offers patients more hope than hype. I know definitively from having a, a foot in this world what's coming, and it's wildly positive for humanity. Now, work on proteins, like what we just showed you, is offering a lot of promise. A separate effort that we didn't look at specifically, it's called AlphaFold. It just won the Lasker Prize. Now, you probably don't know what that is. I didn't either. It's largely seen, though, as a precursor to winning the Nobel Prize in medicine. So keep an eye out for proteins. It's very exciting to think of what, you know, it's just, it, one of, it seems like AI is really an accelerant. Things that could have been done in one pace before, it just sort of takes it to That's the next the level. That's what they're trying to do with this. Example. Real good report. Yes. Thanks so much, Alex. Thanks. It's fun to put it together.